I dropped out of college. I had a year left to get my degree. I was $62,000 in debt. I smoked weed every single day for about three years. Drank every single weekend. Never went to the gym. Ate terrible. Dropped out of school because probably like you, man, I had this feeling that I wanted more. I knew I could do more. And I started to follow that. So not knowing what I wanted to do, I read a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And that really changed my paradigm. It changed my mindset. And I was like, you know, I'm going to be a real estate agent. So I started studying. Staying up late, not playing video games as much. And I finally have the exam to get my real estate license. And all I need, I needed, a, I think it was above a 70%. And I take the exam. It's one of the hardest things I've ever taken in my life. I've taken the ACT. That was harder than the ACT. I get back my score and I got a 76. <laughs> and I pass. And at the time to make money, I was working 12 hour shifts in a factory. Waking up at 4.30 a.m. And now that I got my real estate license, I get an interview with this broker, did a good job at the interview, presents me with the contract. And then that night, a buddy of mine comes home from California. You see, when I was working in the factory, he went out to California because he heard about a sales job selling solar systems at the residential level. See, him and I meet up and he tells me, he says, you know, Nate, these guys are going to be millionaires. Making 20K a month. One of them has a Lamborghini, a Porsche. And I remember... I knew these guys who had the, the Porsche, the Lamborghini making 20K a month, living in mansions, dude. And I said, what's the guy's name that you got contacted, that you got connected with? Gave me his name. I called him. We get on a call. Within 30 minutes, I booked a one way to California, to San Francisco to go get into door-to-door -door sales, which I've never done. Ditched my real estate license and didn't even ask my girlfriend. You know, at that time, I had, and I still do, my girlfriend, our cat. I just signed a lease for a year on an apartment. And I was going to move across the country in two weeks. I told her she took it probably how you'd guess. And eventually it came time to move out west. She took me to the airport. And just like think about this, dude. I'm getting out of the car. I give her a hug. I give her a kiss. She gets back in the car. And I'm about to walk into the airport. But I just kind of stand there. I'm right in the middle. You know, I walk through that door. That's the future. I stay here. I stay in the past. And I could feel that at that moment, you know, the, the weight of the decision. Because I thought, I said, you know, what if I stay? I could probably figure it out. Figure, figure something out. Make it work. I got a job. Steady income. I got a place. I got her. I got the cat. And then in the airport was everything I wanted, just a chance, an opportunity. I wrote my journal, everything I know and love is here at home, yet I walk away. That's the price of chasing your dreams, I guess. And I moved. I went across the country. And when I got there, I set a deadline. I said, if I don't get a sale within eight days, I'll come back. I'll fly back. Cut my losses. 
I have to knock doors. Never done this, man. I considered myself an introvert at the time, too. I had to knock doors and talk to random people <laughs> and try and sell them a solar system. And I was so scared. I was so scared. I would shake. I'd get all nervous. I'd stutter. Eventually, it got to the point where I just said, you know what? I'm here. I'm going to learn how to do this. And I had a mentor with me, and he was incredible at what he does. I guess day seven. I'm working every single day. Nothing. Me and my mentor go out together. And we had a meeting for day eight. We set a meeting. Day eight comes along. We close it. I get to stay in California. Man... <laughs> Ten months later, I finished that year. And I cleared over $225,000. When I tell you that, you might just see it as luck or it's easy. Let me tell you the truth. In those ten months... I moved away from literally every single person I knew. I didn't have anyone, man. I didn't know these people. I had to constantly deal with the fact that I had no idea when I was going to get paid. No idea. I had to watch people I love. You know, I live with these people. I, I lived with a group of guys. People I literally loved. Fail. And give up. And go home. I had people break their word. I had, you know, guys say, look, give me three grand, we'll bring you appointments. And they never gave me anything. <laughs> I've also had literally a millionaire buy me a Rolex. I've won sales competitions. I've done incredible things too. But the thing you got to know, bro, as the winds get higher, the losses and the chaos gets more intense. It's the yin and the yang. The problems only grow. Man, I remember <laughs> I wired this guy $20,000. At the time, that was the last 20 Gs I had. I've never met this guy. <laughs> it was a dumb decision looking back on it, but he's like, look, I wanted to buy a Rolex. He's like, wire us the money. We'll ship it to you from Miami. <laughs> I had my mom help me because I was like, Mom, I have, I have no idea how to do this wire. You got to call the bank. And they're like, all right, Mr. Morsey, um, we got everything we need, the routing, the accounting number, all this. Like, are you sure you want to send this money through? Because once we send it through, you can never get it back. I'm like, yeah, send it. <laughs> they're like, what's it for? I said, a watch. Silence send the money through the guy ended up sending me the watch that's how i got my first one my first rolex the premise of what i'm saying is on social media man it's easy to get sold this all these dreams and i think you should i think you should believe in all that but understand there's going to be tests in every which way it could be you going broke it could be you lose your business, literally losing money. It can happen, man. I've been there. Like right now in the online space, we're losing money. But it is what it is. And this is a modern thing, bro. We come up in this era of the microwavable stuff. It's supposed to happen overnight. And that's not the truth, bro. If you go talk to any entrepreneur been in this game for 20 years and you say look i'm losing money it's been three months what do i do he'll probably say we didn't turn profit till year five so don't hang your head don't get discouraged don't buy into all this stuff because they did it they hit 10k a month in five days and you're not there that it doesn't work bro you just got to keep working and it goes back to the start of the story what are you willing to do 
For me, I was willing to move. I was willing to leave the people I love to come back better, to come back stronger. I was willing to lose friends who didn't see it the way that I did. I was willing to cut off toxic people in my life. I was willing to knock doors, talk to random freaking people I've never met in my life. Even when people pulled guns on me, people threatened to kill me. A guy came out at my friend with a sword. <laughs> Got the cops called, all this stuff, man. All the signs to yield, they exist. And I'm gonna tell you the truth. If it was easy, everyone would do it. Part of what makes the things, the wins, bro, valuable is the fact of the struggle, the tears, the sweat, whatever it is that you had to put in to get it. You can appreciate it way more, man. Because you had to go through so much to get it. It adds value to it. Because there's emotions attached. And I'm not saying this to, to scare you or deter you. It's not what I'm trying to do, man. What I'm trying to do is just give you the right expectations to give you the reality of being an entrepreneur. It's the best moments I've ever experienced in my life. Also with the worst. But as you keep going, it forges you, it hardens you, it gives you resilience, makes you a better person. You can appreciate things more, you're more grateful. And you start to become unstoppable, man. You know, I, I've went broke, plain and simple. And if that's you, you are the most dangerous person in the room. Because think about it, you have nothing to lose, but everything to gain. So I just wanted to set the record straight. Down below, it's gonna be the free community. If uh, you're watching this video, chances are you're an entrepreneur. So join the community, it's free, it'll help you out. And I'll see you in the next one.